Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. As always, it's so lovely to have your company. Now, recently I've had quite a few messages and emails asking me about our lovely Lavinia calendars. So I thought we'd do a couple of pages, maybe do one a week for the next few weeks. Um, so this one is the 2023 one. Now I know we're in 2023, but a few ladies have asked for inspiration of the calendars that they've already bought. And I know you're going to ask me before you ask, yes, the 2024 ones are being looked into and uh, being produced as we speak. And as soon as they're ready, we will let everybody know. And um, because I know the ones of you that created them for this year can't wait to get started on next year's. And it's a bit like that, you know, it's a bit like the journaling. Once you start and get your teeth into it, you just want to do more. So as soon as they're ready, we will let you know. I'll post links and I'll put it on my Facebook page and website and everything. So honestly, we will keep you informed. So the beauty of these Lavinia calendars, in case you haven't got one, is the pages a blank look so you can create your own artwork to go here so for me it's a lovely way of either keeping it for yourself which of course is nice but also you could make it as a gift for somebody and then that way each month they could actually have a piece of your artwork hanging on their wall also for me I'd make sure that you um, actually highlight your birthday I mean that would be a good idea so what I've done, if I can just open it onto January, I've already created January and that I just, well, I wanted to have one ready to show you finished and we'll create February's together. So for January, I had to include Pippin because he, you know, he's never off my desk and I've used the comb branch and created a bit of a sort of a, a floating semi wreath. And just a little bit of inking in the background with our Della Blue Elements Ink and our lovely star from the, the Christmas Charms and one of the Christmas Sentiments journaling stickers that says Bright Star. And the beauty of this is the pages are so thick. Look, it's the most beautiful card. So you can stamp direct on to the um the calendar now i'm i'm slightly nervous laughter here because for me i've got to be honest i've always been the sort of person who creates things on a piece of card and then sticks it on because if it goes wrong i can always turn it over but recently we've done a few designs together where we've actually gone direct on the card blank so and that i sort of take a deep breath but when i've done it you know that the feeling that i've actually achieved it so I've got a few things on my desk and this is February and the first thing I'd thought I would use is with I'm thinking romance for February so I've got my stencil stickers and it's the first set here and it's the nature and nurture collection and obviously I'm thinking we'll use the heart so with these if you remember you get the inner and the outer and I'm thinking let's pop that sort of in the middle and then I'm going to come in with some confetti ink so I'm just going to move this slightly and I've got one of my lovely stencil brushes now recently one of you lovely ladies from I think you're from Australian I'm sorry I forget your name um you asked me about the stencil brushes were they a hard stencil brush well they're not they're very soft and if I can just grab a piece of card and just show you, look, I don't know if that shows you, they are so soft. And for me, the beauty of them is I can get lovely light dusting or I can come in quite firm with them. But for me, they are absolutely beautiful, but they're certainly not hard look. They're beautiful and soft. But I promised I'd just make a note of that. And there are three sizes again. Mine are in a pot on my desk, but as you know, there's not a lot of room on my desk. <laughs> so we've got the larger size, and then we have a middling size, which is number seven. I think the larger one is nine, and then we have the Diddy one, which is number three. So that was just a bit of housekeeping. I remembered, I, pr I promised that I'd said that I, I would just answer that sort of live 
So what we'll do now, the other thing important for me is I've got a piece of kitchen towel. I just want to protect the bottom bit down here. So I'm just going to put the kitchen towel there just to save me putting my hands on it or leaning on it. And I'm just going to come in my ink, dab some off and then start on the, the mask itself. And then I'm just gently going to flick all the way round. And I'm going to flick first just to give me a nice outline. And then just going to come back with circular motions just to get that nice sort of blended effect and come out a little bit further. Just so that I can get that nice pink tone and just bring it out a little bit further but like I say because they are soft and I'm hardly touching the page now it's very gently gently I just want to bring it down into February look to give sort of like that that pinky aura around February and then what I think I'll do is I got my lovely heart stencil and this is replenish and I'm thinking I want this across my page so I'm just going to spend a bit of time getting it the I think I go for this way now I want it corner to corner so I want to see how I can I think I'll do one corner at a time oh I like that heart up there look so I'm going to go for that now I'll see if I've got enough ink on my brush and I just want it gently gently as it goes further away so I'm just going to hold that and have a look yes that's enough I don't want any more and then we'll come down to this side and again I like that heart there so I'll do the same I'll just pick up so we've got this nice bit of colour here if I want to pick some up look I can get it from the middle pick it up off the, the sticker stencil and just gently gently just gonna slide my there we go let's have a look how we're doing there oh I can go a little bit deeper here and again remember you can always add it we can add a little bit more but again it's gently gently and I'm just gonna add another one here I think that's nice it just brings it down and in fact just going to add little bit there just so it almost comes down the page look so I, I like that I'm going to put the lid on my ink just so I don't I'm so conscious I don't want to put my fingers in the ink and then we'll take the sticker stencil off well in fact I think I'll just go round it first with my black fine liner and I find this easier with it in place so if my head comes in shot I do apologize I just want to get this right and I'm just going on the edge of the sticker stencil now you can do this freehand when you've taken it off really it's whichever technique is best for you for me I find this way is best but as I say but I do have to concentrate and yes I am sticking my tongue out here because you know what happens if I'm going to go off it'll be today when you're with me that it'll happen and then for me the easiest way I find is just a sort of angle look and lift there we go I like that it sort of makes me look like I've got an aperture so I'm happy with that so far. And the idea was I've got the new little heart stamp that's just come out in the, the new collection. And I'm just wondering if that will possibly go in there. So we'll ink it up in black. And the fact that I've edged my heart in black... Now again, do bear with me, but I do want to get right on top of this 
just to try and get it exactly in the right position. You know, sometimes you do need to be directly over your work. I love this heart. I've used it so much. I just think that is so pretty, look. And it's lovely. We've just managed to get it at the top there. Now, what I'm hoping is I've got my wild hairs, the small set. And I'm just wondering if I can get them in here. Yeah, I think we can get one there and one there. So let's have a go. I might need you to hold your breath for me. So nice light tapping. And then if we just have one, this side. Now again, this I'm thinking if... Um, maybe it's your wedding anniversary if you're making it oh that's nice if you're making it for yourself um if it's your wedding anniversary this will be a nice design for that month you know that's the beauty of it you just make an individual to you to your family or I, i'm going to make one next year for the for our little grandchildren and i'm thinking that'll be lovely because i'll be able to put their birthday months a special month won't i I mean, that's the beauty of it. You can just make them so personal. And there we go. I've got my two little bunnies. So I'm just going to get myself a piece of copy paper and just blot that. Remember, always try and get your blotting. We don't want to get any smudges on this. So all those good practices that we've got in, that good housekeeping. So again, versifying clear, slower drying ink. So take your time, give it a nice blot. And there is a little bit there, look. You probably can't see it, but believe you me, honestly, there's a tiny bit there. So it was worth doing. Now I think I'll just ground. So I'm just going to come in with my fine liner. Not do anything too, I just think a little bit of grounding there. Yeah, that's pretty. Now, just for balance, I've got my fairy charms and I'm wondering about a nice heart down there. But if you bear with me, I'm just going to have to turn it round. You know me, I, I, I'm not very good at stamping. So if we move it across. And again, because you obviously it takes up more space. I mean, they are a lovely size, these. So I'm just thinking if we have a heart hanging down there. And again, I'm just going to move it round and look. Yeah, we need one there, don't we? Just for balance. So I shall link up again. Again, I'm used to using the black for this, the Nocturne. And so I want to try and sort of make it look a bit symmetrical. So I think if I just go here. Just to add that balance to the, the design. So let's turn it round and have a look. Yeah. I like that. I just think it balances it nicely. And if you want, you can just join up that there to the wording. And here, I can just extend that and make it look like it's there we go. Right, so I'll just block that again. That one and that one. Now I could leave it like that. I quite like the monochromatic, but I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of colour. And recently I've done a couple of um, designs with the pink and the green and I really liked that. So I'm going to bring in some lime punch. And I'm just going to get one of the, the smaller brushes, the number three. 
And what I'm thinking is I'm just going to actually use my brush. I want to add some colour here. I could use my pencils, but I'm actually just going to use my brush. And if I just, and it's a little bit like painting, but obviously I've not added any water. I'm just starting in the middle, circular motions. And because the brush is so small, I can get a nice bit of colour. Just for that background colour in the heart. And I want to make it quite a, a focal point, but almost keep it a little bit rustic. So as I say, I mean, I could watercolour paint it, I could have added water, but I just fancy using the ink straight from my, my stencil brush. There we go, and I'm happy with that. So it's so, so nice and easy to do that look. And it's lovely, especially this area here, we've got that lovely rich colour. Now, what I'm wondering is, and I don't know if you're the same, I'm wondering about just using my landscape mask. And just seeing if we can get, let me get them out, a little bit of colour under the bunnies. So again, just turn it round. You've probably got bigger desks than me. I know some of you ladies and gentlemen have got the most fabulous craft rooms. But you do need some nice space for this. There we go, just add a little bit under there. And maybe let's add a little bit in the, the mere suggestion. As though we've got some hills in the background. I don't want too much. Just a, like I say, a, a mere suggestion. Nothing too much. Let me pop the lid on the ink. There we go. If I bring that close, you can see, look at that. And it is just a... A mere, a mere suggestion, but I, I like that. I think the colours built up really well there. Now, I want to add some, you know, we love our little finishing touches. I don't want to overcomplicate this, but what I'm thinking is, you know, I love this light and shade. So if we get our, our lovely pastel pencils here, and again, I'm just going to open them off camera and I've got the black and I've also got one of my little biodegradable cotton buds. And what I'm thinking is down this side here, if we have a little bit of shade. Just coming round here and the same on the heart here just almost to make it look a little bit more 3d even though it's a, a flat card so that when it's on the wall and we're looking at it we almost get that 3d so if we give that a bit of a rub again pastel pencil so if we're rubbing if we're smudging it i think it looks better but also it just helps to fix it so if we get our shade there and then on this side. And then finally. Just. And again, just blend it until you until you're happy with it. And we'll have a little bit. Just under the bunnies again just to help that grounding and I just think that that adds to it doesn't look quite as flat just want to just neaten this off a bit here and again you'll take longer at home I'm always conscious of keeping you too long mind you I hope you've got a brew and a nice bicky I know a lot of you have been very good, aren't you? I need to spring. It's that time when you think, I've got to start being good, ready for summer. There we go, that looks better. I just prefer it that a little bit darker there. So I'm happy with that. So we'll add the white now. 
and we'll add some nice little tails and just a couple of little little highlights on our bunnies just give them a bit of shape and I think we'll add a little bit of highlight on the hearts it's pretty isn't it so we'll just put those on the floor next to Eric and then we can't have a design without some splatters and these pages take the splatters really well so I think I'll use the green to keep the green tones and this is the glittery Posca so again a good shake if you Posca remember it's acrylic paint in here so it does need a really good shake also they are a pump in action so if they don't work give them a good um, pump that nib on your on your desk but let's just see I don't want too many just want to go diagonally across and down the page here. A few up here. Just to take away that, add a bit into the, the background. With this being the sparkle. And you see how it builds up so beautifully. Now I want a couple of our sentiment stickers on here, so let me have a look. Now oh, I definitely need Love Story on here. And do I have Love You as well? Or I Love You More? I know, I could have Love You and Love You More and save Love Story for my anniversary one decision made so I'm just going to use my smaller stencil brush just to decide I quite like it yes I do I have or do I oh do I like it there again because once you've struck them down it's not easy lifting them up this is the bit you see I don't like it over the dangle. I quite like the dangle. Do you know what? I'm actually going to change my mind. You see, it just shows you. And I'm going to go love story after all. So I'm so glad I do this. Because I was going to add two, but I don't like two. I'm thinking one right across there, right across the heart. Yeah, I prefer that. So that's why it's good just to use and use this as a guide. I don't want to overcomplicate this. I just love the way it is. But I think one last little thing, because of the green, I got my lovely and um, prickly pear liquid pearls and I'm hoping that the colour will match beautifully. So we'll have a go. Now, remember, this is rude. It's a bit male. Sorry to all you males out there. So just see it spits. So I'm just going to give a little bit on my mat there. And then I'm thinking of just putting a little bit here, lift it up. Now, I just want to clean that up off my mat. So I'm just going to turn my work round. And I'm just going to put one in the middle here. And one in the middle of the cog there. One on the heart there. And then just have a couple of random one, two, three... One, two, three, and a couple of little. Now, obviously, I have to make sure this is dry before I close my journal. My um, journal, see, I've got my journal on my mind, on my, um, my calendar. So that colour was prick, uh, liquid pearls and it's the prickly pear. And I have to say, I love that. So I'm just going to get my, I've been leaning on my copy of paper. Just for me, I prefer to do that. So if I show you from a distance, and then if I bring it up close, and I just think that goes so lovely together. And what's nice is I'm almost going to use my calendar as a bit of a, bit of a, almost like a, a journal for ideas. So if I need a wedding card, an anniversary card, an engagement card, I'm looking, this will give me an idea. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that. 
If you're doing a calendar, please tag me in and let me see. It'll be nice if we can all sort of share ideas. I've already, I mean, March, it's got to be spring. I'm thinking floral. You know, I love a bit of a floral and I've got to have a meadow in my calendar, haven't I? So I'm already, I want to, want to start that one. But I'll let this one dry first. So you take care. I hope you have a lovely week. Enjoy your weekend when it arrives. And thank you for all your support and your kind words. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.